Thank you for joining me today. I thought it'd be fun if we take a good look at Transformers Legacy Tarantulas. So let's get this guy out of packaging. And here we have Tarantulas out of packaging. And this guy's really impressing me right out of packaging because he is like spot on right out of the cartoons of Beast Wars. This head sculpt is absolutely incredible. That green for his mouth, that kind of like yellow gold for his visor. You have it going around his head. I love the green that's going on here. Uh, even with his claws with the yellow and um, purple. The green that we have going on for the eyes. Uh, just, this is... This is awesome. This is what uh, Tarantulas looked like right from the cartoon. This is really impressing me. Articulation. The head can rotate to left to right. The arms can rotate around. They can spread out that way. I mean, you can get the legs going out that way as much as you can, but it can only go that far due to that. We do have a bicep swivel. We even have it also in the elbow as well. Here's the elbow joint. I guess that's the wrist articulate. I'm not really sure because there's both there. It's pretty nice. Uh, waist articulation. You can get it so far. Not bad. You can get the leg to come back that far. You can bring it that high up. You go tarantulas. Uh, he can do the splits. He does have a thigh swivel. And let's see that knee joint. Not bad. And he does have ankle articulation. So I, to me, you can get him into really good poses. And I, again, this is really, really impressing me. Tarantulas does come with accessories. He does come with his saw blade. I believe this is his weapon from when he was in his transmetal form. So I appreciate that little nod to that. And he can actually hold it in his claw hand just like that. So he can get it ready and go... Pretty cool. And his most famous weapon from the cartoons... It's a shame it doesn't like fire out. That would be really cool, especially with the string. Oh, that would be a nice nod. But he can actually wield it as well into his other hand. And he can shoot up and go <laughs> to transform tarantulas. I will recommend of bringing up the arms. Just like that. And then bring his legs as if he's almost sitting. Then we come here to the back, right here, and if it's not already tabbed, tab it out. And we're gonna get that shell, kind of like he's sitting in it. But now we wanna take this head, bring this out, and close it just like that. I'm gonna take this time to actually flip that around and it will now, this will tab in the back in between the chest, just like that. Come to the back here, to the legs, and we're just gonna bend. So what we have here, we have a peg, and it's gonna go right into the middle right there. But we wanna get these feet right inside. There we go. And Get the other foot in. There we go. And we can actually, before we do that, we can actually, this is the only time that we can do it, we can take his weapon and see there's the two little holes that we have here will fit right into that peg right there. So once we have that, just like so, we can now collapse the legs and we can now bring in the arms and there is actually a hole right here and there's a peg right underneath. 
So we get that on. Now we bring that under and get that clipped together. Bring out the spider legs. That is the best we can. And let's move his hands just like that. And there's actually storage. With this peg that we have right here, we can actually plug underneath where that screw is. So we can get that right in there. And that is all the weapon storage for tarantulas. And I have to say, that is pretty awesome. And especially when you get up close, just what he looks like from the show as well. Those green eyes. And then we have the back here as well. That's really nice. And I like how they include the weapon back here because it looks like there was times where he was shooting that out from his behind. So I thought that was really cool. I just kind of wish that um, the spider legs, um, they were able to hold better for ball joints so you can get it to stand a little higher. Um, other than that, doesn't really bug me, but it would just be nice. Right now, this is really impressing me. I am really liking this. To transform Tarantulas, we're going to have to remove his accessory. We can actually come here to the arms. And we're just going to detach them and bring them out. Detach them there. Bring them out. We're just going to leave the arms just as is. And we're going to come to the legs. I'm going to kind of bring them out so far. Detach this weapon. And bring out his leg entirely and straighten it out. And bring out the other leg. There we go. And that's supposed to stay in. But we detach that. And we flip around. And now with the head, we detach that, flip this around, and sneak that in. Now this tab will fit in that hole. There we go. Straighten those legs. Bring the arms down. Straighten out the hands. And straighten out the hands. And if you want to, I like to keep them closed, but this is, if you want to keep them open, you can do that. But now we have Tarantulas fully transformed back into his robot mode. And real quickly, just wanted to show off what Tarantulas looks like with the rest of the Predacons. My final thoughts are that a Tarantulas is in an incredible figure. He's cartoon accurate to what we see. Um, not just in robot mode, in, in his beast mode, he's just everything. I just, I just can't get over how in, incredible, and I love the posability. Everything about this is incredible. And I just recently noticed his Predacon symbol right there on his thigh. So I just wanted to point that out. That looks, the color of that shading of that purple kind of blended right in. But I can't say anything bad about this figure. This, this figure is like a perfect 10 to me. Well, with that said, I just want to thank you all for watching. If you can just do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button down below, let me know in the comments if you think he's shelf worthy. And until next time, you'll be hearing me in the next video. Everybody have a great day.